I'm Larry King. In the wake of the dismantling of America's manufacturing and small business infrastructure, the idea of made in America is more important than ever, from manufacturing to marketing and everything in between. Today, we'll take a look at the American-owned and operated companies that are doing their best to make this nation the standard in economic prosperity. Mom and pop small business owners. It's what this nation was built upon before the deindustrialization of America began, and preferential treatment was given to foreign businesses and multinational corporations. Though it seems like forever, it is not that long ago that most businesses in our country were family-owned and operated, with parents leaving what they began and built to their children as a means of provision and independence. Fortunately, in the midst of giant box-cutter foreign-owned megastores, there are still some in the business world taking the mom-and-pop approach to creating opportunity for others. The safe ship franchise concept is truly a mom-and-pop type of a concept. This nation was built on moms and pops starting businesses and then bringing their children in and passing the business on to them. We look at our franchisees as our kids. We want to train them the same way that mom and pop trained their kids. We give them one full week at our corporate stores in Florida. And then we spend the very first week of the store opening with the franchisee to make sure that they understand the business, that they're running the business the proper way, and that they are geared for success for their future. One of the things that is most important for Cheryl and I as a franchisor is to watch our franchisees. We have gone through and made the mistakes. We know the mistakes that can put you out of business. We've made some of those. But we can keep our franchisees from making those mistakes so that their success is not hindered by doing something that they shouldn't have done. In our training, that's what we look for, to make sure that the franchisee will be successful and not make the mistakes that we made. So by knowing the mistakes and not making the mistakes, they hit the ground running, they're more successful quicker, they're more profitable quicker. They're able to see that their success is in their hands and that they're going in the right direction. For the first time in recent history, more businesses are failing than are being started. And the primary reasons why Americans aren't in a rush to start a new business are regulation and taxation. This, according to the Brookings Institute. However, at the end of the day, these concerns go to a fear of failure, of risking hard-earned money on an unproven idea. On the flip side, there's a growing trend among those that are starting down the road to owning their own business of moving into one of the smaller franchises available across the nation. The, the whole idea of the franchise is to get the mistakes out of the way early in the game. Uh, Richard and Cheryl taught us enough that we were able to not make the expensive mistakes, uh, show us the ropes, the hidden factors of the business, and it's a training curve that they provided. Meeting Cheryl and, and Richard at the franchise store for our training was also another point that was really strong for us. We were up and running within six weeks. You know, to this day, it, it's been a good investment for us. We like to think of the franchisees as our family. Most important is the training of our franchisees. Our franchisees are trained on the day-to-day -day store operations in one of our three corporate stores by our support team. These are the people that work in the store every day. We continue the training the week the store opens for the franchisee and we provide additional training at that time. Mentoring continues to guide the franchisee to their success. Supply and demand. Convenience. Building a better mousetrap. Providing a necessary service at a level of quality that no one else does. These are all defining terms when it comes to identifying a business opportunity with potential for real success and minimized risk. There are not too many services that can be provided to potential customers across the nation that are more of a necessity than our postal and shipping needs. And there's nothing more important that can be provided to a new business owner than a mentor that has been there and done that successfully.
One of the primary reasons SafeShip is considered by experts to be one of the top franchise opportunities available today is the training and nurturing provided by the creators of the company. The end result is a level of customer satisfaction synonymous with building a successful business and a trusted brand. To learn more about SafeShip and how to become a franchise owner, contact them online at www.safeship.com. very reasonable startup costs and the personal attention we got from the franchisers um, doing in-store training uh, where they started up uh, having them come and watch us open our store and interact with our customers um, I mean we've been open three years and we can still pick up the phone and call them and anytime we have a question if I had gone with some of the other opportunities out there I think I would have spent a lot more money and gotten a lot less attention Every person starts their business expecting to succeed. We have been very successful with our franchisees. Because of that, we are seen around the world as one of the top 500 franchises in the United States, also as one of the top veteran franchises. It's humbling to sit back and to think that something we started a few years ago has grown to this. We sat six years ago discussing the possibilities of opening up a franchise organization mm -hmm. and i can remember saying to cheryl that night you never know what's going to happen and maybe 10 years from now we'll be looking down at the road at a very successful franchise company mm -hmm. i can remember being taught by one of my mentors do what you do naturally we're in control of the franchise we're the franchisor so we can make this work for the franchisee by thinking from a store perspective so that the franchisor has to give to the franchisee to make the franchisee successful. The more successful my franchisees are, the more successful I can be.